Hey guys, it's your girl, Leah Lanier, back with another video. Hey, <laughs> before I jump into this video, you guys, I just want to send a very special thank you to you all um, who have been continuing to watch my videos. Um, honestly, when I created this channel, I wasn't expecting to get as many views or subscribers that I have. Um, so I am truly grateful, you know, um, I just created this channel a few days ago and it's just like, wow, I'm really getting views on this. So I really do appreciate it. And um, I definitely want to continue to post more videos, create more content that you guys can relate to. Um, and yeah, guys, so this one in particular, let's get to the video. This is going to be a makeup tutorial on this, voila, this particular look um, so if you guys like what you're seeing right now um, please continue watching as I will give you the 411 on how to achieve this look oh before I jump right in let me just say this one thing too as a woman you know I, I've got to say this we are beautiful with and without makeup so if you're watching this and you're like I have to wear makeup to look beautiful no honey you do not okay don't let anyone tell you that you need to wear makeup to look beautiful because we are all made to look individually um, and there is no person that looks exactly like you. You are your own person. You may have a look alike, but hey, at the end of the day, it's all about you. So love yourself and you know, makeup is just to kind of um, enhance the beauty if you do it right. And this particular makeup a tutorial will teach you how to apply your makeup correctly. Um, and go over the basics of blending and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, guys, again, let's jump right into this video makeup tutorial. All right, I'm coming back for more content, baby. We on a roll. <laughs> hey guys. Okay. So first step is to make sure your face is clean and dry and bare. Okay. So I have nothing on my face. I personally have like a slight oily skin, not overly oily, but it does get oily. Um, so I'll show you in another video what I use to um, clean my skin, clean my face, and keep my skin clear. But for now, let's get to the makeup. I always like to start off with my eyes first. So I take the... Uh, Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer Rihanna Fenty, okay, Fenty Beauty, yep. <laughs> I take the primer and I start with my eyes. I always do my eyes first. Um, it's just a habit. I just think it's easier for me to kind of see where I'm going and what kind of look I'm going to achieve because eyebrows for sure make a difference, you know. So I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Powder Duo. Okay, it looks like this on the front and then it looks like this on the inside. It's like a brown or a dark brown, whatever that color is. And then there's like a darker color. I always use the darker color um, personally for me because I kind of like to, um, you know, just have everything darkened up. So um, it also has a little mirror too. It's really cute, you know, compact. Okay, so now I, I, I outline my eyebrows. So I do the top with, again, the, the darker color, with this color. Um, and so I just go over my eyebrows, my natural eyebrows, and then I go below them. And my eyebrows never really grow overly fast. So um, if anything, shit, they're more but too light than too, too, um, too bushy, <laughs> too bushy, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, I do the, the top and the bottom guys. And then I take this side of the brush. This brush I got also from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So yeah. So I take this part of the brush and I... Just kind of blend, blend it out. I blend it out a little bit. I kind of like brush it. And, you know, I don't make my eyebrows too dark. You know, I try to stem away from like the super dark 
um, eyebrows because I'm already using a dark color so um, this brush works magic and works um, wonders when you just outline it and then you just brush it you literally just brush it and then next so you see I have kind of the shape let me kind of go over that a little bit I do have um, the shape of it better now okay and again guys it's not like too dark you know it's just it's just right okay yeah yeah <laughs> next I'm gonna take the LA Pro Girl Concealer um, HD high definition yeah okay this is um what color is this I don't even know honestly I just looked at it and was like I think this is the color I'm gonna use that works for me um, but there's multiple colors in uh, you can get this from I think I got this one from either CVS or Walgreens but you can also order it online like on Amazon Amazon has it I think Target has it too um, but I just happened to find it in uh, my local Walgreens to CVS all right so next next thing is you are you're gonna like outline on the very top where you put the the um, your eyebrow powder you're going to you know highlight the above on top of your eyebrows and below so I'm just going to go like this and I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side hey hey <laughs> this is always the funny looking part because i'm always looking at myself with this on i'm like shit look like a fucking i look just ugh, just weird i just look at myself like yo what wait what whatever um so i take that guys and then oh you can't see it i gotta make sure i have this up so you guys can see i'm all used to doing that all now but I apply that more in my um, above my eyes and around my crease I know it looks crazy right now that's okay you'll see where I'm going with this in a second <laughs> okay so I take this brush I probably I got this a long time ago I think it's from eco or something like that I probably got this from CVS or Walgreens as well. I don't really shop high quality brushes, you guys. Personally, you know, I be hella cheap sometimes with the, when it comes to the brushes. The makeup, I'm a little bit more different, you know, a little different. I get my makeup from Sephora and stuff like that. But the brushes, girl, I can get the brushes anywhere. Okay, girl. Mm -mm. Uh-uh, girl. <laughs> These brushes be expensive. And I'm like, dang, I don't really notice too much difference in the brushes from like CVS and when you buy them from like the higher end stores or whatnot so yeah whatever so i'm gonna do this like this i'm gonna blend it out okay and yes like again it looks really light going on but once it's blended out all the way you'll see you'll be like okay i get it i get it i get it <laughs> um so yeah, I'm going to continue to blend it out and up. Okay, so then I'm going to see where this, this area here is between my eyebrows. I don't want a uh, unibrow, guys. Okay, I don't want no unibrow. So I am going to just kind of stop it here and then kind of blend it out a little bit. Like in the middle. You see, I'm going to just kind of do that to give it like a part <laughs> like a hair part <laughs> don't you part your hair it's like okay um and so yeah i'm going to just blend that up like so okay you see here i'm gonna take this and you see for me like I like to get my eyebrows precise y'all I don't be playing with my eyebrows I don't want to be out here looking crazy with some weird looking eyebrows so I blend it out like that okay and then next I am going to take the soft 
Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills again. This is my girl. Okay, shout out. Um, and I am going to take um, this brush. Voila, voila. I think I got this brush. It was by Beauty Creations. Um, I don't know where I got this brush from. Maybe Fashion Nova. Maybe like AliExpress online or something. I don't know, y'all. I have no idea. So I am going to go for like a kind of like a, a neutral type of look for my eyes because I'm going to go with a brighter lipstick. So it's really important to not have um, overly bright, you know, eyeshadow on with bright lipstick, at least for this look. So I am going to take the, um, I guess I'll do the orange soda so it's this one right here the orange soda and i am going to apply that right above my eye so boom i'm gonna do this okay and then i'm gonna knock her out on this side too knock her out okay like that Okay. I'm gonna smooth her along in here. Okay. So that's that. And then I'm gonna go over um, with a little bit of a darker color above that in my lid. So I'm gonna do this, uh, if you guys can see, this rustic color right here. It's kind of like a brown. It's a little bit darker than the um, the burnt orange. So I'm going to apply that on the top kind of like this in the crease right here. I like to blow my eyeshadow too because I don't like it too pigmented or whatever. So I'm going to just do her like this okay do her like that so guys i just want to point out well i have a chance now before i transform myself into a bad 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 chick i'm gonna say that every woman is beautiful straight up you know whether you guys um have make no makeup on or a full face makeup and your makeup is beat honey you are all beautiful we are all beautiful so yeah i'm gonna apply a little bit more rustic brown and then next this anastasia beverly hills um eyebrow eyebrow brush and i'm gonna take this part of the brush the thicker part and I am going to do what should I do her I think I'm gonna go for the fairy fairy color let's see if you guys can see that it is this color right here it's the fairy it's like a really shimmery type of gold color it's really pretty hella pretty y'all hella pretty so I'm gonna apply that right here right below my eyebrow this one's really bright. Um, it glistens really pretty. I like it. It's shimmery. That's what the word I'm looking for. It's very shimmery, y'all. Very shimmery. Okay, so I'm going to put her on like this. Okay. Just like it. Okay. Blend her out. Again, blending is the key. When it comes to makeup, y'all, you have, you have to blend. Promise me promise me you guys blend your makeup because i guarantee you that is the key when it comes to doing makeup bomb you have to be a good blender it's like you know drawing in a coloring book or coloring in a coloring book i should say you have to blend because if you don't blend it's not gonna look right so i'm a fan i'm a fan of blending and then next i'm gonna take the cypress ombre so it's this color, it's the darker color, Cypress Ombre, y'all. 
and then I'm going to just apply that on the outer extremities of my eye. Okay, so I'm going to get it all in the crease. This kind of is going to give it the, um, the, uh, what do you call it? The, um, God, I lost my train of thought. I'm too young for this. The, um, smoky, the smoky effect. That's what it is. It's going to give me the smoky effect. So again, that, and then get a little bit more fairy to blend it out more. Like so. Right? Right? It's coming along. It's coming along, y'all. It's coming along. All right. So, I think we're done with my eyebrows. So next, I'm just going to take a little paper towel and then wipe underneath my eyes just to get all the eyeshadow that dusted off. Okay, because if not, it's going to mess up. <laughs> it's going to blend too much all over my face. And honey, I'm not trying to do all that. I'm not trying to do all that, girl. Mm -mm. All right, so next, we're going to take the Pro Filter Instant uh, Retouch Primer by Rihanna. Rihanna, my girl. Okay. Ella, Ella, A, 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 A. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella, Ella, A, A, A. <laughs> That's my girl. So I'm going to take her just like this, okay? And I am just going to dot, dot, dot. I'm a dot type of girl. I like dots. I don't like, you know, these big old bulges and applying it with the brush. I apply my primer with my fingers as you saw i did with my eyebrows and my eye for my eyeshadow so i apply her um i am again i'm a little oily so um this works perfect for me y'all this primer is the bomb it doesn't get me too oily or nothing um it's it's perfect so next i'm a shake 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 and baker I use the Fenty Beauty. This is the perfect foundation for me. Um, I use um, color number 390. This is my perfect shade. It's 390. So I'm going to, again, shake it a little bit more. And then I'm going to apply this bad girl like this. Don't get scared, y'all. <laughs> you know, it might look bright going on. But the good thing about this foundation is that she does oxidize. So... It starts off looking real rough, real rough. Looks like I got chicken pox. <laughs> but I promise you, y'all, it gets better. So next, I'm gonna take, what brush is this? Oh, I don't know, I think, I don't know the brand of this brush, but I got it from Target, Tarjay. Um, and this is my blend, my foundation brush. And I'm just gonna blend my foundation out like so. This is the fun part. Oh, coloring my face. Okay, it goes on smooth. That's what I like about this foundation because it's not too harsh, y'all. Like, it really isn't. It's not that harsh. It goes on really nicely for me. Um, and not too much. It's like a, I would say it's about a medium coverage. Um, and you can always do, you know, more, more layers if you need it. Um, or if you want to add more layers, you definitely can. Make sure you blend all over your face, um, or else <laughs> you will be looking like, uh, Boo Boo the Fool. <laughs> you don't want to be looking like Boo Boo the Fool, girl, okay? shoot don't tell i don't say i didn't tell you so i told you so blend 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 you guys okay blend um let me see i think that's a good look god lee is really flaking anyways okay so i think that's enough foundation for me um yeah that's good 
So next, I am going to take our LA Girl Pro Concealer again. This is again what I use for my eyeshadow. Um, I am going to squeeze it out into the tube like so and then I'm gonna run her down my nose I'm going to contour I am going to put this under here this is good for all my ladies who be getting turned up <laughs> and got them dark circles <laughs> this is really good for y'all for sure um, it hides that <laughs> It definitely does. Put a little bit over here on my forehead. Okay. Okay, so she's looking good. She's looking good. And next, I am going to take um, this brush. I don't know where I got this from. Again, I'm not huge and big on brushes and stuff like that. So, um, forgive me, y'all. Okay, so I am just going to blend baby out like this. <laughs> I don't know why when I be putting makeup on, I always have like my mouth open, y'all. <laughs> oh no, I don't know why I do that. It's like, I'm concentrating hella hard. Okay, <sighs> blend out the nose. Blend out the forehead a little bit more, like this. That's gonna give a nice little glisten. Okay. All right, bam, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right, next, I am going to take my, um, I think this is my MAC, I, oh, no, this is NYX palette, the contour palette, and I am going to contour with this color, you guys. This is my color. So I am going to take here, just like this, I'm going to take her right there, but I'm going to do that right down here and right down here. So I am going to draw a baby in like this. All right, it's coming along. And then again, I'm going to draw her in like this. Okay, and then next I am going to do the same thing but on the side of my nose. I'm going, this helps to kind of like shape your nose a little bit and highlight your nose because I'm going to apply highlighter too. So. And I'm gonna, I go up a little far, like up to here. I go all in there. Start from the bottom, now we here. <laughs> oh. All right. Now she's on, okay, she's on. All right, hey, I'm getting there. Um, now that I have that on, I am going to uh, apply the setting powder. So I use the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. This is the best for all of my caramel and brown skin girls, beauties. Um, <laughs> um, and I'm going to use the little setting powder brush. Looks like this, short and thick. Dab, dab, like that. 
and get all in my lens. <gasps> okay. And then next, I am just going to ever so gently dab. <laughs> For the one time, I had to dab. Okay. So I put her in. Like that. Even on my nose. Okay. Powder her up. And I happen to oil up a little bit um, below my nose. So I'm going to powder. I know that. So I'm just going to powder that there. And then I'm going to obviously powder right there on my forehead. Where I highlighted at. Or contoured, I should say. Um... Okay. And then next, you guys, um, I am going to use some Chic Freak. Okay, Chic Freak um, Kilowatt by, again, Fenty Beauty Rihanna. Um, that's my girl, if y'all don't know. I'm going to use, again, this side, the Chic Freak, so it's a little bit of the darker side. Um, and I'm going to use her right here. You see how pretty that is, you guys? Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's coming alive. Oh, I love it. I love that color, y'all. It's so pretty. Damn, okay. Pretty. Hey. All right, now I'm gonna do a little bit on my nose here. So I'm gonna use this part, just the, the narrow part, and then just kind of flash her down like this, like so, and then I'm going to, uh, uh, like that. So she has a little bit of whistle there, right? And, um, yeah, I think that's good. So next, I am going to um, do my lips now. Now I am going to use the I'm going to use the um, eyebrow powder to do the lining of my lips. I know that sounds ridiculous. That may sound weird, but look, it works for me, y'all. It works for me. So I'm just going to do this around my lips. Don't worry, it looks really weird now, but it won't in a second, I promise. Because for, for me, the Fenty Beauty um, red color that I'm going to use, for me, it's just too bright to use on my lips by itself. So I always like to kind of just use, you know, a little darker color to outline my lips with first. Next, I'm going to take, again, Fenty Beauty Rihanna color red, all right? Um, and I'm gonna just take her like so. And I'm going to apply her. Makeup tip, one-on-one, -on -one, number one. When it comes to applying your lipstick, you guys, especially liquid lipstick like this that I have on, is to take your finger and go like that because the makeup comes off and that helps it from staining your teeth. My mom taught me that a long time ago. Um, let me just take a close-up look of my lips yeah she looks good okay guys so that's done so now I'm gonna do my eyeliner this black eyeliner I probably just got this from CVS it looks like this nothing out of the norm 
Um, and I am going to apply the eyeliner on the top of my eyebrows. And the bottom of my eyebrows. I'm feeling myself now, y'all. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I think that looks good, you guys. Um. So next, I'm just going to throw on um, some eyebrows. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So I am back, and here is the finished look. Um, you're going to be hitting that day night, girl. It's, you go, what? Girl, uh-uh, girl. They're going to look at you like, girl, mm -mm, come on over here. Your man, your bae, your boo, he going to be like, Come on, girl. Come on. <laughs> you gonna be in it to win it with this one. This is the look, you guys. Um, you are all ready to go for date night. Trust me, you guys are gonna be turning heads with this look, honey, because this for sure is a stunner look with the red lipstick popping, y'all. You guys are gonna be in the game, in it to win it. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's get it. <laughs> Um, so thanks for watching guys and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and I can't wait to see you guys again. Come on back. Peace out.